Worldwide Warrior. Season 1. Origins. Episode 1. The Warrior of California. Poem 5. To Market, To Market. The following morning, Ray and Rose early and set out to buy food for her home. The farmer's market just downtown, had the best food no matter where she roamed. She knew that Braden would be tired and sore, after that MMA bout. And she planned to fix his favorite breakfast, when he was up and about. She could have driven her car downtown, but with LA traffic it'd be, much easier to go on foot and besides, she'd feel more free. And free she felt as she paced the aisles, with attention and with care, as she called to all the people she knew, who shopped and worked down there. But as she walked by a freezer case, her freedom feelings plucked a note, that soured in her imagination, and made a lump in her throat. She saw her reflection in the freezer case, and wondered who it could be, this grandmother of a twenty-year-old, could she really be free? Her jet black hair was beginning to thin, though she was only fifty-five. She looked closer and saw some were going grey, and bitter feelings welled up inside. She thought of her lost husband and son, and how Braden was all she had left. And she fingered a black pen in her pocket, the one that was close to her breast. She finished her shopping as her mind weighed and contemplated her mortality. Then shuffled off with her bags in her hands, questioning what the future would be. As Rayan began her journey home, she realized that she had, let down her guard from looking around, and for this she felt very bad. You must keep an eye out downtown, Rayan thought to herself. No telling what people might hassle you. Just then a tingling she felt. She looked around and saw a man, she'd seen in her periphery. She realized that he'd been watching her, ever since she began feeling free. He had followed her all around, staying just out of sight. She began to walk faster, and ducked down an alley, she did not want to have to fight. The man was dark with a moustache, and he was otherwise nondescript. He looked like something of Indian descent, but Rayan could only look quick. She hustled away to throw him off, but then she bumped into another man, who stood almost six and a half feet. And he whistled at her then. Hey mama, where you going? Why don't you come with me? Rayan wasted no time at all, and pulled her black pen free. She stabbed him with the pointed end, and then shouted three simple words. Stun gun, mutatio, and him, into pain, she did send. The pen turned into a stun gun in a moment, and then the man hit the ground. Rayan picked up her bags quickly, and ran, till she was safe and sound. Once back in her neighborhood, she stared at the weapon in her hand. Pen, mutatio, she said once again, it's time to take a stand. The stun gun turned back into a pen, and Rayan went back to her dwelling. Compiling a story in her mind, that anyone would find compelling. Author's note, we've had some progress, story warrior. Analytics are beginning to climb slowly but in a very steady and predictable way. I've also had a few opportunities to tell stories at my church, and I'm beginning to have time to work on motion comics as well. All is looking up. Also, I've moved what used to be a fairly closed community, the brood of writers wonder brood to our own gilded server. We have things there that you'd normally find in a Discord community but also some incredibly exciting features such as collaborative documents, video uploading and streaming, and more. Check it all out at joshuadavidling.com and God bless.